Hello everyone, good day. In this video, we are going to see the demo on how to upgrade the Kubernetes cluster using Cube ADM tool. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to perform these steps in this video. A yeah, Kubernetes cluster. This is our existing Kubernetes cluster with one master and two worker nodes. Our application is running as a deployment with two replicas. From this picture, we can see that the Kubernetes cluster is running in version 1.27.6. In this video, we are going to upgrade our cluster from version 1.27.6 to 1.28.4. Let us begin now. Step number one, check the current version in the Kubernetes cluster. Connect to the Kubernetes cluster and check the current version of Kubernetes. We need to check the version of kubeadm control plane components, kubectl and kubelet versions. We have consolidated all the commands in a notepad and the same is available in the video description. This is the master node where we have connected to the Kubernetes cluster. kubectl cluster dash info command gives the details of your cluster. To check the kubeadm version, just type kubeadm space version. kubeadm is running with version number 1.27.6. kubectl is also running with the same version which is 1.27.6. kubectl get nodes will display the number of nodes in our cluster. Our cluster is running with one master and two worker nodes. This command will also display the kubelets version in each and every node which is 1.27.6. Step number two, update the latest repositories based on the cluster version and the operating system. First, let us check the Linux operating system and its version in the cluster nodes. Linux OS details will be available in the slash etc path. We are running CentOS 8 operating system in the master node. Hope in all the worker nodes, it will be the same operating system. Now we will update the repositories. All the report details are available in the official documentation. Web links are available in the video description. We need to refer the page for upgrading clusters from version 1.27.x to 1.28.x. As we are upgrading to 1.28 version, we need to configure the 1.28 repository details in our nodes. Our nodes are running with CentOS, so we need to configure the M report definitions accordingly for 1.28 version in all the nodes. So now repo update is completed in all the nodes. Step number three, upgrade cube ADM binary to 1.28.x version. 
Before upgrading the cluster components to 1.28 version, we need to upgrade the cube ADM binary to 1.28 version. Before to that, we can check the available Kubernetes releases in the official release page. Here we can see the details for the last three releases of which 1.28 is the latest release. Within 1.28 release, the latest patch version is 1.28.4. We can also check the latest version for cube ADM using M command also. With this command, we can see that the latest version is 1.28.4. Now we will install the same version which is 1.28.4. If we want a specific version to be installed, we need to specify the exact version in this command. Now we can see the upgradation is completed. Cube ADM space version. This command will also give the updated binary version. Step number four. Upgrade control plane components using cube ADM. Now upgrade the control plane components like API server, controller, scheduler, proxy, etc. Kubelet agent will not be upgraded as it is a service daemon in all the nodes. We need to upgrade the kubelet manually. Let us now check the upgrade plan using cube ADM tool. We can see that the cluster is in the old version that is 1.27. Cube ADM binary is upgraded already to 1.28 version in the previous step. This upgrade plan will show the possible upgrade version in the 1.27 series as well as it will show the latest possible version in the 1.28 series. This is because the cube ADM tool is already upgraded to 1.28 version. So it will show 1.28 release also. For this demo, we will proceed to upgrade the cluster to 1.28.4 version using this command. This will take few minutes as it need to pull the latest container images from the container image repositories. Meanwhile, let us inspect the pods in the control plane. Continue to monitor the age of the pods. If the control plane is upgraded, control plane parts will be restarted. We can cross check this thing with the help of the age of the parts.
We will resume once this installation is completed. Welcome back. Our cluster is now upgraded to 1.28.4 version. Now it's time to upgrade the kubelet and the kubectl utility in the control plane. Step number 5. Upgrade the kubelet and kubectl tools in the control plane. We can do this upgrade using the m command. Upgrade is completed. Now Restart the kubelet daemon to take the upgraded version into effect. Finally, cross check the upgraded version for kubectl and kubelet. We can check the kubelet version using this command kubectl get nodes. Remember, till now we have upgraded only the master node or the control plane. Step number six worker node upgrade. Drain the workloads and upgrade the kubelet. First, let us upgrade the kubelet in the worker node number 1. Before upgrading the kubelet in the worker node, it is needed to drain the workloads in that node. This draining is required to keep our applications alive even during the upgrades. Once you drain, the nodes will be marked as cordon meaning scheduling is disabled. Here you can see the list of parts that is running in worker node number one that is part of daemon sets, deployments and replica sets as well. This draining will not work for daemon sets. So in our drain command, use the flag ignore daemon sets to ignore the daemon sets for draining. After the drain command, we can see that the deployment parts are migrated to worker node number 2. So this means that worker node number 1 is kept under maintenance. Now it's time to upgrade the kubelet in worker node number 1. We have to execute this command in worker node number 1. Parallelly cross check the version and cordon status for worker node number 1. Yeah, we can see worker node number 1 is still in 1.27 and the scheduling is disabled.
Now the kubelet is upgraded in worker node number one. It's time to restart the kubelet daemon to take the upgraded version into effect. We can cross check the kubelet version now in the master node. Seems the status is up to date. Step number seven, uncordon the node. Uncordon the worker node number one so that the scheduling of workloads will be enabled again. We can use the command kubectl uncordon to uncordon a node. Yeah, we can see worker node number one is ready now. Step number eight, repeat step number six and seven in worker node number two. That is, Drain the worker node number 2, upgrade the kubelet and finally uncordon the node to make it schedulable again. Let us do these steps in worker node number 2. kubectl drain command should be executed in master node. yum install kubelet command should be executed in worker node number 2. Now the kubelet is updated, just restart the service daemons. Now we can see the kubelet in all the nodes is upgraded to 1.28.4. Now it's time to uncarden node number 2. With this, our cluster is fully upgraded to version number 1.28.4. That's it for this demo. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.